today we're working on the Polaris Ranger XP1000. So, for today's project, we're going to be greasing the rear wheel bearings. And I think we'll get to the front wheel bearings as well since it's been a couple hundred miles since I did those and the rear wheels have not been done over the well the entirety of this machine's life cycle up until now which is 660 miles all right so we have our two greaser tools we're also going to need this 27 millimeter socket for the uh, the hub nut this is the greaser tool for the front wheel bearings by Havoc Industries and this one is by Bevel Engineering looks like I need to wipe this off it's got a bunch of that dust stuck to it alright so first thing we gotta do is we gotta get this wheel off got myself a three quarter inch socket and on a half inch drive impact So we got it on the lowest power setting. Let's see what this will do. Well, that took it off. Let's put it up to full. And I am now seeing that I did put grease in these. So these are good. I think I did that on all four wheels. Or maybe this was just the side I took off a couple of years ago when I was trying to grease the front and I took this one off to see if it would fit these wheel bearings. And I think maybe the right side and the rear did not get greased because I didn't take it off. All right. All righty. So there's our hub nut and here's our cotter pin. I'll need to bend that out of the way and then we can get this hub nut off. Nice of this wheel to just not fall over. All right, I think it's gonna stay. And I'm also remembering that I need to take the rear brick caliber off to get the hub off. Time to check our pads. The pads are looking really good, really good. Yeah, and get those off. I can't <laughs> get these. Uh, rear caliber bolts off I can't use an impact on it so I gotta get out manual wrenches and a hammer alrighty alright I got a 15 millimeter wrench alright that wasn't too tight if I had a ratcheting wrench it might be a little nicer but okie dokie alright so I'm gonna go ahead and take these caliper bolts out and we'll be right back Alrighty, there's a better look at those brake pads. Looking good. I'm gonna just set that caliper up there so hopefully it doesn't fall off and dangle. Just don't want to crimp this line. Alright, got my pliers. Go ahead and just straighten that a little bit. Yep, there we go. Yep, alrighty. There we go. Yeah, it's perfect. Good to reuse. Here's our 27 millimeter socket. Growl. Oh boy, I've got grease on me. Where'd that grease come from? Alright, this is on low. Oh, this thing has got some punch. Either that or I didn't put this on that tight. Well, but it does have a cotter pin, so it's not like it has to be put on super wicked tight. Just snug. And I did grease all the threads because that is the smart, respectable thing to do. Especially for the next guy, which is it's gonna be you. So don't be a dickhead to yourself. All right, let's get this pulled off of here. And I didn't even have to give it the wiggle shimmy. You smell that? Mmm, that. That is the smell of a well-greased tub. Gordon! Lovely. Just gonna, just gonna sneak that out from underneath you. Thank you. And wipe all this. Sh ah! 
with my hands. Alrighty, flip it to the clean side. Now you can see there's a bit of grease that's kind of come out of the bearing here. Oh, that little guy? You, you don't, don't even worry about, about that, that little guy. guy. Yeah, big old snap ring in there. Yeah, that's it's really not really a grease that's come out. It's just some. It's like the, the oil separated from the grease, and it's just just sitting there happy, like attracting dust. So here is the here's the bearing luber for the front wheel bearings. You'll see the uh, moment of disappointment. It looks like it wants to go in, but no way. Bueno. But here's this one. It's the first time fitting it in. Let's see if it'll go. Oh, I don't know. Will it go? I don't know. Yes, I don't know. I've never tried it. It's supposed to fit. I think it's. I think it's gonna go. It just needs a little bit of a helping hand. I'm gonna borrow that. Redistribute the wealth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit more, thank you. Yep, that's the trick. All right, let's try again. Got a little grease on that O-ring now. Oh, I think that's gonna be the ticket. Mm -hmm. Gotta give it the wiggle. Is that in all the way? It's got like a little gap there. Can't tell if that's all the way in or not. I mean, it might be. Ugh, I can't get it out now. <laughs> no, come on, get out of there. There's like, oh, come on. There's like nothing to grab on. Is this what I did before? remember oh the bearing what oh are you seeing that why is the wheel bearing moving is that because it's a two-part bearing oh okay i was i was about to have a Guardians coming right <laughs> <laughs> okay so never mind that's i, I remember now the, it's a two-part bearing it's got the um what is that it's that it's that clamped journal like a sideways loading ball bearing journal bearing it's a double row ball bearing and the center hubs are you know, I don't even remember what that's called but when it clamps in it clamps the two pieces together all right so that's in got uh, Lucas green extra duty I don't have the molybdenum disulfide grease anymore but that's fine this at least this stuff doesn't bye 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 Bye. At least this stuff in, uh, doesn't leak out of the uh, out of the grease gun like the other stuff did. Two pumps. Give it a turn. Hopefully, I have enough grease to do the job. All right. So that's uh, that's ten pumps. There's twelve pumps. Fourteen pumps. So that's two full rounds of double pumps each quarter turn. Sixteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21, 22, all right, 21, 22. 22 pumps, fill that bearing up. How's that for cool? <clears throat> all right, I don't have the strength to just do that, so we gotta... Bueno. <laughs> Gotta use ourselves a car. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it on me. All right, we're good. Alrighty. So that's pretty easy. You don't have to take the whole axle out and take the hub off and bring it to a bench or anything. You just take the take the wheel off. Or I'm sorry, I said hub. I meant knuckle. Yeah. I don't understand Polaris. They want to go to a unitized knuckle and a, uti a unitized hub. Well, the problem is you go to that and you have no way to grease this bearing. I mean, this is standard maintenance. I mean, they already took away the grease fittings for the A-arms and the knuckles. <laughs> I mean, they just can't help themselves. I mean, they got a grease fitting on the sway bar. Like, what's the purpose of that? That thing doesn't need grease. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead over to the other side. I'm going to take the wheel off on the other side off camera. And I'm going to disassemble it just the way I did over here. And I'm going to go ahead and grease it up. And then we'll come back over here when we're ready to put this wheel on. Alrighty. 
I'll see you. Oh, come on now. Don't play games. Alright. Alright, start at 3 o'clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 21, 22, 3, 24. Alright, so there's 24 pumps and we got a little bit shooting out. And we'll just leave that. It's gonna, it's gonna eject itself anyways. I just had to get it on me, didn't I? There's a local grease receptacle. Mm-hmm. Or better. There we go. Come on. Get out of there. Third. And we'll just dose him up here. It's a little bit much. Well, we got a little bit of dirt in there. It's gonna be anti seize. Yeah, very good. We'll wipe the excess off and we'll just put it on the splines because that's good for splines and everything. Uh huh. And I think that's got factory applied anti seize on it too. But we're just gonna, I'm just gonna supplement. Yeah. Alrighty. Very good, very good. It's like I can only get so much off and just just keeps wiping off a mandatory amount. Hello. Alright, that's a pretty quick job. So, we're going to go ahead and put this hub back on. And I'm going to get this wheel put back on off camera. And then we'll go put the uh, left side wheel and hub on on camera. And that will conclude the rear wheel bearings. All right, we just got both sides greased and we got both sides put back on, put back together. This thing's torqued up and ready to go. All right, let's get this pig flipped around and we'll go ahead and lubricate the front wheel bearings. All right, here we are, we got the front wheels. We're gonna go ahead and grease up these front wheel bearings. Start by taking off these front wheels. Got the air compressor all charged up. It's ready to go. Maybe I'll even see a performance boost out of this. And I had, I did have these off before. So these got nice grease on the threads and all that. There we go. Set that right there. All right. That should be enough. I should be able to get right in here. Get these caliber bolts off. It's a 15 millimeter. Alright, so these caliber bolts are 15 millimeter. Where are you, Waldo? There you are. brake line this is this brake is this, these calipers are aluminum body they're not that heavy they're just like uh, motorcycle brake calipers they're they're not heavy so just go ahead and turn that back the other way I don't know where this stuff comes from it's just everywhere all right that was easy somewhere over here is a big ass socket very nice these hubs are a little different. The washers are kind of set in, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. Bunch of junk in there. Can I set that down? Yeah, I can. Man, that is just covered in stuff. Oh, you know, I mean, it's like. It's almost like I greased it or something, you know? It's almost like I gave this thing a greasing. I don't know how many miles ago. A couple hundred. Wipe the crap off of this. Right, wipe the crap off of that. And put that little schmuck back in the box. Alrighty, here's the one from Havoc Industries. Not selling their product. I just think it's a good product. Alright, let's see how many pumps this took. We've got 24 pumps in each of the rear wheel bearings. 
this one's been greased before so and this greaser doesn't need to be spun it's got ports all around it in like six different positions that's two pumps three pumps four pumps five pumps six pumps i can actually see the bearing inflating a bit seven pumps eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen oh all right, so that's 17 pumps, I believe. And my grease gun has decided to tell me no. Well, I'll fix this grease gun. Up all that crap. Well, you know, it's actually, that's molybdenum disulfide grease, so. It's 3%. I don't, I don't think 3% has like a historical reference or anything. Okie dokie. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and refill this grease gun here and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, got a grease gun reloaded. Let's see, that'd be 17, 18, 19. We're blowing bubbles. Hold on. What are we blowing out? I don't know. 19, 20. All right, I think that's enough. All right, let's go ahead and get this side put back together. All right, I already got to wipe my hands off because everything's covered in grease, of course. Oh man, that is in there. Jeez, look at this, look at this stuff. Looks like I'm going to need the help of a hammer. <laughs> There's nothing to grip on. Darn you. Gosh darn it. It fits too tightly. Arr. Okay, well that's all I needed. You better stop. I'm a tech marine. I know what I am doing. I don't know what you mean. If you are scaring me, hold still. Did you just talk ancient one? Calm yourself. No. These repairs must be done. No. Enough with this nonsense. Do not touch me there. Apologies, brother. I need to get you. Did you just talk to yourself? There's an old one of our trains in such way inside wearing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this hub back on. <laughs> Whoops. Axle's trying to run away. Yeah. Okay. So what happens, you try to put this through and the axle tries to escape out the back door and you just gotta grab it from the back pull it towards you and jam it in the front door and jam the hub in the front door look at all that shit what'd you look at it look at it this way okay you just gotta look at it that's all you can do anymore all right gonna grab my big greasy hands on this Big old hammer of mine. Oh, perfect. I mean, what was that, intentional or something? And then you got this thing, which is more, looks more bent out of shape than the last one, but it just, <laughs> just fits in place and goes to work. No complaints. The other one is a big old whiner. All right, I'm gonna go over here and get the left side done off camera, and then I'll come back to this right side when I'm ready to put the wheel on. All righty, so got the left side put back on. Got the left side to actually completely serviced. So now we're ready to go ahead and bolt on the right side caliper and the right side wheel and this pooch. I was gonna say pooch, and I said this peach. 
this peach is gonna be ready to go. Alrighty, let's do a little magic. Alright, there's the brake caliper. Let's put the wheel on. Yeah, yeah there we go. Alright, so that's all the wheel bearings done on this big beast. Alright, so we're taking this thing for another test ride. See if maybe this thing puts a little bit more power to the ground. This thing's fun. It really, it really pulls now. I got that new belt on there. Fifty-seven hundred RPM. And was that forty miles an hour? <laughs> yeah, how's that for edge braking? Yeehaw, the, the back end's coming loose and the front end's got grip. <laughs> Woo! Oh, look at this. Look how close we are. We can do it. Come on, odometer. This feels so much faster in this thing than the motorcycle. This thing hits 666, we're going back to the future, baby! <laughs> Woo! Check that shit out. Yeah, come and get it. <laughs> there it is, there's the milestone. definitely faster with nothing more than a belt it means it's not making any more power it's just putting more power to the ground and this is all with air conditioning on too like dang <laughs> Did somebody pull a handbrake? Go on, little bunny. Alrighty, 
Well, this concludes the video of greasing up the wheel bearings on this Polaris Ranger XP1000. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, please write a comment. Alrighty. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.